What's up, everybody? It's Frank again, coming with part two of this uh, martini glass. I know, I know. Uh, you probably been waiting for like a week uh, for me to bring this out. I apologize, been kind of busy. But uh, right here, we're going to just go through the same meshing technique, getting everything right on the, what is that, the flute? The flute part of the martini glass. And I already got basically the top half done so I gotta do this flute and the, the, the bass and basically it'll be done after that and I'm doing the same thing right here I'm just uh, lining up my mesh and I'm gonna do the cut scene and come back to it cause like I said in the last video I know you guys don't wanna watch me do that for hours on end just clicking and all that boring stuff but uh, I want to say thank you to my subscribers. Uh, I've got like 950. You might think, oh, that ain't nothing. Because a lot of people, some people got million, 200,000. But I mean, it's, it means a lot to me because about this time last year, I had like two subscribers. So 950 in less than a year, I take it. And uh, thank you for coming. Thank you for viewing the videos. And bring a friend, share it, learn the gritty and mesh. I'm here to teach. Whatever you need to know, ask a question. I'm an open book. I'm just here to share and teach others, like I always said. So, so you don't have to go through uh, the lengthy process that I went through trying to learn. And it was a lot of headaches and hard nights and and frustration. And I almost quit. <laughs> just quit it all together because I mean it was it was that frustrating but God put me through it got me the way I need to be right here I'm just uh, showing you I'm pulling up pulling the sections apart that I've worked on and I didn't really do the little stem that was in the in the olives I did the bottom part of it I didn't do the top I don't know why got lazy I mean, this was just like a practice session for me, so I wasn't doing it for a purpose. I was just doing it because somebody requested clear objects in the video. So, so I just did it. Took a couple of hours, about six, six hours or so. So, I mean, I chalked it up as practice and got it done for them. So, hopefully it helps. And hopefully you get to understand basically what you get from a from a transparent object also because it's different I mean like I said the background would make make a lot of what what a, what would be your color so if you got a dark background you're gonna have dark in your transparency so that makes a lot of sense but hopefully uh, next week I'll be getting somebody wanted me to work on a car Car mesh. I haven't done one of those and since I first started, so I'm gonna get that done and hopefully it help them out with what they're trying to work on. And I might have to do it in sections because unless I do a, I speed up the video quite a lot, you won't really get much out of what I'm doing. You just, I guess, you have to get it for what I'm saying and try to catch as much information as possible. Because uh, I'm, I'm imagining that car will take a while to create. Yippee! It's all fun. Once you get into it, dive in it, and just knock it out. Cause I got, I got like six, six vectors on gradient mesh I'm working on right now. I mean, I got to the point now where I do, I create about forty percent of it. I get bored. I get on another one and start trading. I might go 60% on the next one. And then I start on another one. So I need to quit that. That's 
getting lazy and then procrastination. But here you see my outline on the left side and the photo on the right side. I'm just showing you here, same thing. The olives, you see the shapes and the lines. And let's see what we got next. And here is it. Here it is out of outline mode. Mine is on the left, the photos on the right. I mean, it came out pretty good. And there you go. But yeah, as the video comes to a close, uh, like always, if you have any questions, comments, leave me a message in my inbox or in the comment section below. And I'm going to try to get this next video out, or at least the first part of it out, by Tuesday. So. Like always, boys and girls, until next time, this is Frank signing out. Peace.